coming up. Pete's ready to make changes to Andrew's room again. It's a special room to me, and I want to make it a room that's used and will be with him all the time. And his role as cultural ambassador of Malta comes under fire. Claire, it was page three of The Sun. I had loads of people tell me about it. It's just a bit embarrassing for me because I got asked to go there. It's Wednesday. Pete's back at home after spending time with Emily's family. Last week, Pete started to redecorate Andrew's old room. I'm proud of you, man. Proud of you, man. Proud of you, man. It's all good, man. This is an emotional experience right now. And today, he's got to finish it. It's ten in the morning. We've just started um, the next the next stage of this. And what I'm doing is We're making a feature wall. Just a nice regal grey. This is a special room to me for personal reasons. This room. And I want to make it a room that's used. Um, and the only way I can do that is to have it like a place where we eat, so that we, we have to come in here and we'll be with him all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's important, man. Yeah. Once again, best friend Ryan is here to help. And this time, Ryan's brought along backup, his dad Donald, a builder by trade. He's in good spirits, man. I think the changes to the room, he's, he's, he's feeling good about it. The fact that it's going to be, it's going to be used. And um, it's, it's a social environment, and I think that's how he wants to remember all the happy times, you know what I mean? So you've got to make it nice. It's nothing like doing it yourself, even though I make a mess. It feels good, you know? And I know there'll be painters and decorators looking on in horror. Saying, well, I don't know if they're doing it right. Although I think we've done a pretty good job so far. Keeping it focused, man. This man needs to be focused. I don't care what happens today. We're getting this thing done. Right, man, might have a break now. Huh? I'm only Three. joking. Um, you're making some good progress there, man. Yeah, I know. I'm working hard, mate. I'm actually really happy. I don't know if I'm over overdoing it by doing the other side of the wall. Oh, 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 oh shoot. Oh. Hey, please. You're making my heart stop here with that with that that, that reckless paintwork. Hey, I've just thought of a joke. You know Bros, the, the group Bros, man? Yeah. Right. One of them became a painter. What's his name? Matt Gloss. Come on. Joking aside, Donald is worried that their painting technique isn't up to scratch. But listen, you should let it dry out. Once you go in over and over, it could make a pop and lift the paint. So you should let it yeah, dry. Yeah, no, what, when we do this one, because it, it was dry. dry. It was dry on that side. That's why we do it, because when you do a thin layer. Well, you, you should give it a number of hours. I'm going to do exactly what your dad says. <laughs> do as I say all the time, and you'll be all right. <laughs> and the telling off has stirred up childhood memories for Ryan. I just want it to always, you know, you want to do the right thing all the time. You want to make you proud. And I just want to hear those words. And you never used to say, when I was younger, I'm proud of you. It's only when I got older you said that. All right, let's, let's not take it to that level. I just. I think I said you see, I'm going to cry. Because all these. Ryan, I, I want to give you a big hug. Thank you, Daddy, man. Oh, see, see, honestly. I, I love can you. I, can I, don't I mind if I come in? Let's get this, this, this hug, man. Listen, you see? This look, is therapy, man. You're making Jeremy us cry Carl, outside. Jeremy Carl. I think they're doing a good job. I don't think I could do better myself. See, that, was that was brilliant. That was brilliant. <laughs> With the boys taking a break from DIY, manager Claire drops by for a visit. Mr. Andre! Hey! Pete hasn't seen her since being appointed cultural ambassador of Malta, and he's seen some things in the press that's causing concern. Okay, so Malta. Malta? Hmm. Some political stuff's going on there. They've thrown me into it. What is all that about? I haven't known anything about this. What do you mean? You haven't heard what's happened? No. Are you serious? I've been so busy. Okay, basically... I haven't watched the news, I haven't even read the papers or the magazines today. Okay, basically, the elections are coming up. The opposition has kicked up a massive stink. 
Is this they're, they're saying they want, they want, yeah. They're saying they want me to strip me from this title. And there's, they've signed, got a thousand members of the public to sign a petition to oust me. Over there, it's caused this massive thing. The opposition is saying they want me out. And it's caused this big problem. Oh my God. I know. You could help put Malta on the map. It's ridiculous. Well, bring tourism and that. they're causing a big stink yeah. about it. I get given an award for cultural ambassador by the mayor, and the only thing they report is when the opposition have decided to say that they're not happy that I got the award, and that's what they're reporting on. And I just think, come on, guys, like, you know, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. It's just, it's just a bit embarrassing for me because I got asked to go there, I got asked to do it, and, and you know, Claire wants to get to the bottom of the situation, so calls the office. But you've got to tell me things. Like I say to everyone in the office, if there's a story about a client, let me know. I didn't know anything about him. It's a negative story, but the press actually haven't been negative about Pete. They're just reporting the story, which Peter doesn't always understand. That's what journalists have to do. But they could have been much worse about it, and they haven't. Yeah, but, but Pete still can't let it go. Clara was page three of The Sun. Yeah, I had loads of people said, tell me about it. Story, and then the it. Mail wrote it, and then The Sun did another piece yesterday, and another piece. Look. That was yesterday. How could you not know? I'm shocked. But then, you know, there's plans for you to go back in the summer again. I know, so but, yeah, why, but... You know, they're actually saying, but, but, why have you been voted? Um, no, no, I know, but what I'm saying is that it's not fair on me. I got invited out there and, help, yeah, you know, but on the press the here, they should, you know, that's not fair on me. Well, they're they just, not being actually nasty to you. No, but the... the that, that, that isn't a, a nasty piece on you at all. Yeah, but the sun, you know, I mean... I haven't seen the sun piece, but... Anyway, I understand that you're, you're fair game in this industry, but it's when they, it's when they, look, they put things in inverted commas, like, you know, basically they're taking the piss, yeah, I know. But, you know, they could be a lot worse, but when things are all nice and rosy in the garden, that's not press. You know, it's just a shame that they didn't report it as he's gone to get this amazing award and he's known in other countries. That's what Peter wants to see in his own head. Well, maybe that's not a bigger story as what something bad is. With the DIY finished for the day, Pete remembers he's got a very important mission to complete before the shop's shut. Plan is we're gonna I've got to go and buy some Valentine's presents. Brems, let's go. So he's taking Ryan along for support. Let's go. When I was filming a show called The Bad Boyfriend Club, I learned a few lessons. I learned that do you really know your partner? Us guys, we're hopeless. Most of us are hopeless. Is that the car, man? Yeah, most of us are hopeless. We don't know what their favourite their favorite thing is and their favourite thing. So what I've done, first date, what is your favourite perfume? What's your favourite colour? i got it all here. That made sense. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. You've got to get a few things. Know the favourite perfume, know the favourite, the shoe size. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but so, do you know what shoes to get? No. Um, what would you like? I like something quite high. I can, I'm going to look at what I would like. I think that's the best way to do it, isn't it? I, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Like, for me, I'm completely out of my depth. That's too hard. <laughs> I hate choosing stuff for girls. She's small footed. Oh, God, size six is all I know. Something like that, they're quite cute. They are quite cute, actually. It's a real personal choice, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard That's to the choose. problem. They're nice. The new in as well. Would you wear them? Yeah, because at least they'll go with a lot of different colours. It's not going to be restricted. Then I don't really know with. much about girls' shoes <laughs> at all. But I'll take them anyway so in six. size six, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll see. I think they're cute, man. You know, it's a good enough pair of shoes or not? Look, listen. Women love shoes and handbags. It's in DNA. Yeah, they do. But the shoe <laughs> that you showed me looks hot. If I saw them on somebody else... I'm I'll... sure it'll be all right. Oh. And there's a queue of people wanting to be his valentine. I want to cuddle now. Oh! oh. <laughs> Love you. Everyone loves you. Oh, How you doing, Baba? This is going to be so, so cool. And it's not only women that want to meet him. We love you, 